Nine and two. Eight. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either tap in the crisp up or wrong. I am the one and only Chris Tucker. The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top broadcasting live from legendary BB King's downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Sup. Sup. Got your walk, walk it, your walk. <coughs> I, I just went to Elmer Fudd mode. Oh, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> walk in your Wabba shirt. <laughs> I'm walking my Wabba shirt. <laughs> Do you like those? Some with the big logo on them? I like it. I actually, I'm st- I like it better than the original, I think. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just the Wabba logo and it's just like, boom. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm dying for? I'm dying for some Hey Sugar Shop. Hey Sugar Shop. They're supposed to send it to BB King's. I was wanting to share some some cookies with Craig. I want some cookies. And Derek, but I just, you know, I don't we don't have them yet. No, we don't. We have these logo cookies that are coming. Oh. They're they're cool. It's it's our logo oh. on the cookie. I, I don't I don't ever want to eat them. I know cuz they look like perfect. But I mean, I do eat them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't get any last year. I know, I didn't get a Well, see, I wanted I wanted they were special and I wanted other people to try them. So, but I mean, the little cookies tasted the same. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know, I felt kind of funny about eating my logo. Now that you tell me these cookies were available all day. <laughs> so, yeah. They're round cookies. I wouldn't have a problem. Right <laughs> and they're like the best cookies ever. I don't care what the label is. I'm going to <laughs> So, okay. So, so we've, got, we've got Derek Andrew in here today for our interview. Now, Derek, what brings you to Nashville? Um, came up to play a couple shows, hang out, obviously, for CMA Fest and... Um, see if I couldn't get myself into some some shenanigans around here. Some trouble. Into some trouble yeah. while you're in town. Yeah, I have yeah. not been successful. Well, you're hanging out with Craig, so it's probably easy to find. Well, Craig's like <laughs> he's like a rebel without a cause. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I was going to say clear, <laughs> that's more accurate. But, yeah, no, just hanging out, you know, and then you always try to be involved some way up here and, and sure. get into something. Um, I had planned on coming up, and until. We got confirmed with you guys. I wasn't mm-hmm. really known for sure because we're going out of town. So uh, thanks to you. So we're the driving for You came to town just for us. Yes, yes. You're yes. No original, other reason. You're the original contributing factor. Sweet. See, I feel, I feel really special now. You should. And the cookies. You should. You have mm-hmm. cookies that are labeled. <laughs> Woba. The dork side has cookies. <laughs> the dork side. Come to the dork side. We have cookies right. for now, real. How, how long have you guys known each other? What, three years? Two and a half, close yeah. to close to yeah. three years, yeah, right at it. Yeah. We felt so special when you guys came in for that photo shoot, and then and then you played yeah. some songs for us. Yeah, yeah I felt special. Down that, that was fun. That was a fun night. Yeah, yeah just yeah, a, that was a little. Odd. Is it harder for you to play in front of a, a few people or like big crowds? Um, I haven't really played in a huge crowd yet, so I don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it. I don't think it. It's different for me you know uh, mm-hmm. um i enjoy playing i focus more on the music than i do the people out in it you know and right in the profession that i do i'm used to talking to people every single day and so people sure. don't really bother me too much now so. now now what do you do what is your profession i work as a paramedic i've been a paramedic for the past 10 years or so 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 that's a long time you've probably seen a lot of stuff and i think we've talked about this before but yeah yeah but uh yeah i'm sure it, it takes a special person to do that i would think yeah i've had to work on being special so <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we all, we, I think we all have some dark secrets in there somewhere that sure. kind of haunt us still. But it's good, it's good. Sure. Now, when you're when you're doing that, are you focused on your job? I know you got to be, but I mean, do you, do you ever wish, man? I wish I was in Nashville singing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Every day. <laughs> Every yeah. Day, yeah. So this is what you were meant to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. But I bet you're a good paramedic, though. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's not. Safe yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> All I'm going to say is that saving lives at our business and business is good. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says, I don't know. So if I have an emergency right here and now, somebody better call 911 because right. I don't know. i got something I need to do. So, <laughs> so if anybody's going to pass out, do it now while Derek's here. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, just so you know. People are dying to meet me. <laughs> have you ever brought anybody back wow, from a pee overdose? Could, yeah, yeah. I brought myself back once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called... Now, it's called diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> now, what else are you going to be doing while you're in town? Are you singing anywhere? Or? I am. We sang last night at Douglas Corner. We did right at Douglas Corner. And I did. And we're going to Franklin. show last night oh yeah oh i've got to do a radio show 12 30 tomorrow yeah, afternoon like, how many shows i've done in the span of time you told me you had to do a radio show right? with 30 seconds i'm not as young as i used to be mm. <laughs> it's a lot of work sitting here talking it you is. know so much work I'm already tired. eating cookies and stuff <laughs> in the in the nicely air-conditioned room right 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 yeah we got it hard we got it re- really really tough uh, so what are you going to sing for us today? I don't know. Because I, I want us to squeeze, squeeze in like three songs. I think we can do three songs. You want to do um, all the songs? Sure. We'll do our first single. Okay, now who wrote this? Craig and I both did. Okay, did so you, both you guys? There? Yes. And, and Jake. Jake took. Okay, okay. So what's what's it about? Um, it's kind of about relationship status. You know, um, you, you know, you've known the person your entire life, but you never really knew that they were the one. And then mm-hmm. finally it's just like, oh, well, that makes sense. So I thought you were going to be like, time. I knew the person my whole life. I didn't know they were a serial killer. I thought maybe that was going to be the hook or something. Yeah, no, that's the next one we're working gotcha. on. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I it's want called, some credit for that one. Mm-hmm. Take okay. the knife out of my back. Crazy. <laughs> so this song was released back in June of last year. Um, we hit number one on a couple a couple different radio stations, Independent Music Network, and it was played on 94.9 The Bull, um, which was really cool for me, 100.5 Augusta. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been played out in the Midwest. So. Was it played on the Chris Top Show? It was played on the Chris Top Show. It was debuts on the Chris Top Show back a couple months ago. There you so. go. Crazy. Then it is a truly special song. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Right girl, wrong time But you never ever left my mind Maybe tonight's gonna be the night Left him, I left her Maybe, baby, we can fix the hurt Got a second chance for love at first sight said what I should have said but we were young and I was dumb you and I we grew up you're still the girl I love all I want to see when I wake up yeah
Always knew you, never knew you were the one I'm yours, baby, you're mine Feeling like the moon, always chasing down the sun I had to so, think about it for a second. Like you, yeah. you always knew that you never knew, or I always knew that you never knew that you were the one. Did you get confused? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> well, that, <laughs> that was so the entire goal. Always go back and listen to it again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was the goal: is yeah. to confuse uh-huh. everybody here. Right. So they would have to listen to it again. Right. So <laughs> it's like, like you're on, forcing them to do it. Let me replay that. Real <laughs> <laughs> so, so do the girls go crazy in the audience when well, you sing? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are they up in there twerking and stuff? Yeah, they. they Do you get twerked really, on? They booty dance with that song. Uh, booty dance. I hope you don't get twerked on. Booty. It was hot. You need to take some of those sanitary wipes really with you so you can wipe yourself off. Right. Yeah. That's just when that for happens. Me, though. Right. <laughs> so okay, so so now you're married, right? I am. Yeah. So how how is your wife with all this? I mean, because I know you probably leave for like days at a time I and do. stuff. Is she is she really supportive and cool, or is she like Derek? Really, you need yeah. to mow the grass. What are you doing? Right. Uh, no, she's actually she she. I think she wants it for me more than I do. I mean, mm-hmm. she's really extremely supportive of me. Uh, does it get tiring sometimes? Yeah. I mean, we do have a six year old little girl. And, sure. I mean. Being the the mom and the worker and everything else, it gets stressful sometimes for her. But she doesn't complain, you know, and mm-hmm. um, she she takes it in stride. And so she really, really, really supports me on everything that I do. So yeah. So I how be how like hard that. is that for you though? Because I know you you probably work a lot. I do. And you're not home, and then you and then you are, are pursuing your dream and your passion. So how difficult is that for you sometimes to be away from them? You know, you feel like a jester you know in the way that you have to juggle things and mm-hmm. it's it's difficult but over the past 10 years of, of being a paramedic you know and having that crazy schedule and then the six years for having her and then all of a sudden now that we're doing this you know mm-hmm. we've learned to to be able to, to adjust it pretty pretty good it's difficult um for me specifically because obviously i want to spend more time you yeah. know with my family but uh sometimes you just have to do what you yeah. have to do. Yeah, I bet she thinks it's cool when Dad gets his guitar out at the birthday party, though. So. Yeah, she tells me to yeah. put it up. No, that, not right now, Daddy. Do you turn your siren on and stuff, too? Yeah, yeah, like, honk for the horn at her. What does she like better, the siren or the guitar? Uh, guitar. Okay. Yeah, siren, <laughs> siren makes better noises than Daddy does, but uh, I've kind of forced the guitar on her. So. So, so what's in the works? Are we looking at EP singles? What's, what's going to be happening in the um, next six months? we're going to record another song. Um... <clears throat> It's a song that we wrote a long time ago. Craig and I did, and a guy named Josh Bagwell. Uh, he's another musician out of Georgia. We sat down and we wrote it. We we got on Skype and we mm-hmm. wrote the song together. And um, I've gotten a really, really good response out of it. So okay, I okay. think you were one of the first people to ever hear that song downstairs here at BB. That's Kings, how important so. we are. Yeah, yeah. we're so we cool. To, to hear this we're stuff. Popping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's nice. the very first time we ever played that song live, yeah. actually. So um, I think we're going to go back in and try to record that and push it, and hopefully, cool. The response cool. will be. I could say I was, yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I was, I was there. Now, if now, now, I'm not saying I would do this, mm-hmm. but say if hypothetically, if I was going to stalk you, okay, like where would I find you? He stalks um, you for real all the time. Well, I just Sheesh. trim the bushes <laughs> at the house. Yeah. So <laughs> just look in the third bar. Well, more of a virtual thing, like uh, online. How would I How would I stalk you? You can go to Facebook. It's just Derek Andrew. You okay. Just search that and you'll find it. D-E-R-E-K. D-E-R-E-K and okay. Andrew. Um, my Instagram is Derek Andrew Music. Okay. Uh, Twitter is D-A-H Music. Okay. And they can go to your – do you have a website? I do have a website. It's DerekAndrewMusic.com. Okay. And if they go there, they've got, you've got links to everything else. I've got and links to everything you can find there. Now, what about iTunes? So if I want to buy some stuff, can I go to the website and Absolutely. find it from there? Okay. Self-titled EP on there. Just search Derek Andrew, and you'll have – I have one okay. that's just the single, and then I actually have the EP itself out. Okay. And if, if – do you have any hard copies of CDs or anything like that? No, or? I sold them all out. 
Well, that's kind of a good problem it is, to have, it is. right? I sold I, I've, I've, everything that I've bought. I've sold out. So okay, so when you get some more, will you like autograph one for me and Absolutely. like talk about how cool I am and stuff like that? And oh, I don't, it, it's not big enough oh, to write. See, all I get stuff. that. I hear that a lot. Right. Yeah, I, I do. I hear that. Not, I, I can't fit everything on there, but <laughs> I, will, I will write something for sure. I do hear that. Okay, uh, so what are we going to sing next? Um, I, we got we got a few minutes. And I want to get I want to get two more songs in for sure. You want to do my one for you first? Sure. And then we'll go in half with it. Uh, Helen it. says Helen says you're sounding great. She's listening on uh, on Spreaker. So hey, Hel- Helen. Hel- you hey, got a new Helen. fan and you got a new fan in Helen. And uh, who are you guys? I'm Rodriguez. Are you guys just here to check out what's going what? Yes. Okay, y'all have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Hey y'all. You don't have to stand there and be all nervous. Do you like do you like Derek? Oh, there you go. Yeah, do you like what you've heard so far? Yeah. Uh oh. So he's got a fan. Uh-oh. He's got a fan in here. Fan girl. As long as I don't stink. So you're just bringing people in off the streets. You got all these fans now. You don't even know. Anyone listening on? Yeah. Mom. I think so. Aw. Aw. Hey, mom. Yeah, you had all kinds of people in the chat last time. I think we had you on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all these girls throwing well, their people like, love you. I mean, it's, it's throwing good. their clothes. See, that's the thing. They think my mom's throwing her. <laughs> no, don't do that. Not her, but all, all the other fan girls. The fan girls. <laughs> but that's the thing. I mean, you you know, you come to a place like Nashville, and you got so many people that are great looking and talented, and 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 all this stuff. But you've got to have something, some kind of connection, I think. Right. And and you're genuine. I mean, you, I think you really care about the people that listen to your music, and I really do. You yeah. Know, I, I, I can go right now on my Facebook page, my music page, and I can pretty much tell you something about the majority of everybody that comments. Mm-hmm. You know, well, that's because cool. yeah. the only reason why I'm capable of doing what I'm doing is because of them. So, absolutely, if I don't go back and talk to them and make conversation with them mm-hmm. and know something about them, then what's it for anyway? Yeah, because you know, they're taking their time to do it about me. So. Well, the beautiful thing is you don't do it because it's, it's business. You do it because you want to. Oh yeah, it's no, just I'm a natural the thing. End of it. Business, the end of it's. Com- that's he even responds to me on Facebook, so the, I'm like, dude, this guy's legit. Even you. The fan stuff is not business. The fan stuff is right. strictly friendships. And stuff. Well, they're like an extension of family, aren't they? Absolutely. Because when, when you write a song, you're, you're really like pouring out your soul and yeah. like letting some secrets out. Yeah. It, it, t- it takes balls to be a, a songwriter, I think, because you're really putting yourself out there on the line mm-hmm. like that. I don't know if I could do Greg that. writes all the time, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to lead him into it. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't take it. <laughs> it Rockstar Craig. <laughs> Partying right, so with this song is um, <laughs> is night we're gonna forget. Um, I believe that it was also debuted on the Chris Top program as one of your favorite songs. Sweet, see, uh, look at that. See? We about to pop, lock, jam, and break. Now you know we're gonna start a twenty four seven radio like radio station kind of thing. No. So I, I want you know everything now? you ever write, and we'll put it on there. We'll play it. Okay. All right, we'll so yeah. just send it to me whenever. We're going to start December-ish. Okay. Just so you know. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. No. <laughs> shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Girl, your love's like that bikini. Yeah, you string me along. You keep hiding more than you showing off. Why don't we just dive in, baby, I'm by Get that guy back home who left you crying It can't go wrong when it feels this right You're hot enough to melt these coronas on ice One shot, two shots, do it again If we do this right, we'll have a night that we're gonna forget Killing margaritas and it's only noon Got me seeing twice the beautiful staring at you We've both been broken hearted Line up the Bacardi We're fixing to turn this beach into a party It can't go wrong when it feels this right You're hot enough to melt these coronas on ice One shot, two shots, do it again We do this right, we'll have
nobody yet Cause we can't go wrong when it feels this right You're hot enough to melt these Coronas on ice One shot, two shots, do it again If we do this right, we'll have a night That we're gonna forget Can't go wrong when it feels this right Gonna forget. Oh, I do love that song. I absolutely yes. love that song. See, I, these summertime songs. These it summertime is, songs get you jamming. Yeah, that's like that, that's like that, that's gonna be stuck in my head now. But my good. thing is like, yes. if, if you're having such a good time, then you don't you don't want to forget it. Yeah. So that's right. That's the sad part. <laughs> that, I, that, that is my new motto. <laughs> now, now, out of the last two songs you just played, what's your favorite? Um, man, that's a hard one. It is a hard one. I, it's like rating your kids. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll put it this you way. You tell them all that you're, they're, they're your favorite, but you tell them in private. Right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it like this. They're both my favorite. However, <laughs> but this I, one. I baby all this time because it was my first single. Right, right. And it was the first one that kind of got me exposed and kind of paved the way to where I'm at today. Mm-hmm. However, Night We're Going to Forget is the song that kind of uh, opens me up to a little bit more than just that rocky feel. That's more of that poppy, you know, crossover well type live stuff. Too. It really does. That one. People like doing long. the OOs and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. So you did those very well. It's the, it's the one that... <laughs> I practice that every night before I go back. <laughs> I give them rituals to do. It's the one that broke the camel on the straw's back or the straw broke the camel Close or enough. whatever. Nice. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I do. I know what I'm talking about. That's good enough for me. Right, right. Uh, okay, so you got, you got what going on again tonight? We are going to... Old School Bar and Grill. Old School Bar and Grill. Is it Old School? And old School Bar and Grill in Franklin, right near Cool Springs Boulevard. Okay, so it's in there. So it's a good little drive from here then. A little bit. Now, minutes. and on Saturday, you guys are going to leave right after the award ceremony. And where are you going then? Or, no, you're leaving tomorrow. I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm going to the beach. Oh, you're going to the beach? Yeah, somewhere for, on the beach. Oh, vacation time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you should get you a gig while you're there and like I, pay I'm, for the whole trip. I, I am. You sing that last yeah. song there, man. You're like, yeah, yeah. it's like under. I would throw money at you. Tent with some alcohol. That's my yes. gig. Yeah. And by the way, I won't be here Saturday because I'm gonna hitch a ride. He doesn't know this yet. Oh, gonna him. he's gonna get my suitcase. Ah, uh, so, yes. I may not be here either. So, Can you, you got this, <laughs> bruh? We'll go hang out. Going to the beach. <laughs> yeah. your cookies. It's I'm the only <laughs> only hope I ever have to be cool is if I you know chill you with chill these guys. With yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> <laughs> she said no. But still I know, I know. I'm that. stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, okay, so so we got a third song. Now, tell me about the third song. What is it? This song is kind of a love song, if you will. Um, it's written about me. Craig wrote this <laughs> Did song. Did you write it for Craig? Yeah. 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 He, um, he got in this relationship, and she's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and... The song title was going to be Restraining Order, but <laughs> it's Halfway to Heaven. We wrote it about, um, essentially about, why are, we, why are we waiting? I mean, what's going on, you know? Yeah. I kind of like you. I'm kind of head over heels. You kind of like me. You're the same way, so. So let's step on Why do people do that? Yeah. Why do they do that? Why I do don't they... know. I mean, I was like for the throat whenever I found I was like, Poof. I didn't give her a chance. Yeah. So there was no waiting. Yeah. No. It's usually the no. chick's fault. Yep. What do you mean it's the absolutely. chick's yeah. fault? Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Look, what do you mean I, it's the chick's fault? Explain this, please. It I is don't not know. the just, chick's fault. I just fault. said that. Get thrown any minute. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm gonna. <laughs> Actually, right now we we outnumber the girls. That's true. I don't know. Girl, 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 girl. There's some back there. Randy says in between. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Somebody's right. going down. Now, hey, hey, before you, before you sing this song, I yeah. want to ask you. I want to ask you kind of a deep question. Okay. How do you Ooh. know when you've made it? You know, I think that's personable to each individual. You know, some people say, "Oh, I make it when I'm standing in front of an arena, you know, full of people." Me, on the other hand, I make it when my music touches the first person. You know, because mm-hmm. at that point, I know that something that I've written or I've co-written is reaching out and doing the same thing to someone that I had done to me, which is why I wanted to get in the music business. So I mm-hmm. think that's my ultimate goal is just to make people make music that people appreciate and want to be. So. so some little kid comes up to you after a concert and says, Derek, man, I really love what you're doing. I want to write songs. I want to be a, a musician. You know, what kind of advice would you tell him? Some little 10-year-old kid, 12-year-old kid. Start. 
you know, start. I mean, start. All you, all you can do is, is write words, and somebody will tell you no, and it doesn't matter how good it is. I think it was Garth Brooks wrote The Dance and had it turned down, I think, 14 or 15 times. Mm-hmm. And then finally, you know, Kent Blasey heard it. It's like, well, let's finish it, see what it does. And obviously you know where that song went, right. yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, somebody's always going to tell you no. But if you don't even give it a shot, it's a no anyway. So sure. go for it. I mean, start now and, and just do what you want to do. Don't take no for an answer. And when when somebody comes out and you think they're better than you or you feel discouraged because they're getting there quicker than you, duck your head and push through it. Just keep going. You just got to go. I like keep, that. Keep yeah. moving your feet. That's all you got to do. That makes me want to go out and write songs now. You should. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you should. No, I shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what Derek Andrew was doing last Friday? Yeah, last Friday. Did you what know that? That was a moment, I feel like. <laughs> did you lock yourself in your house and listen to my shows I nonstop? I did all day. Yeah. I do that sometimes. Actually, I got an email on my Facebook page, or my, my website, <clears throat> that was from a lady named Devin O'Day. Mm-hmm. Um, and she said, hey... My name is Devin O'Day, and I would love for you to come to WSM and do a radio interview. I saw your post. Yeah, so that. I wrote yeah. I responded, ha ha, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my response. And her like, response ha, was, ha, okay, confirm for me, and I'll be there. Mm-hmm. So this but is you like, thought it wasn't real. I thought it was a yeah. joke. I mean, I get all kinds of crazy messages from my Facebook or from my uh, website coming in, and so I just figured it was another person pulling my leg. and. So this was about 7.30 in the evening, and I went to bed that night around midnight and still hadn't got a response, so I was like, whatever, you know. Woke up the next morning, checked my email, and sure enough, there was a response, great, I can't wait to see you, and it was signed Devin, and I was like, holy crap. I chunked my phone, you know, I broke my phone into the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, you know, and so, I mean, that's literally for me is a dream come true, mm-hmm. you know. And that's what I was That's saying. a legendary station. Absolutely. It's yeah. Like the Grand Ole Opry Radio, you know, all that stuff. And Devin, I've been listening to her since I can remember, you know, and mm-hmm. me and Kelly was there. And it's, you know, it's one of those things that, one of those pinch yourself moments, you know. Sure. So I was so nervous sure. going into it. And I don't get nervous, but man, mm-hmm. I was shaking and they made me feel right at home. Sam was there. She's their social media guru. And mm-hmm. she was awesome. And Nan and Devin. And then Lulu Roman come in from Hee Haw. And sat down next wow. to me. Yeah, so I mean, I was just like, dang. Oh. Yeah, I think I saw some pictures of you like getting there, but I, I didn't see any after that. Did, do you have some like of you yeah. doing the interview? I need to go back and look. I got some live. I need video. to stalk you some yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Can I go back and listen to the to the show? You can. Or? Uh, well, I don't know if it's on their website or not. I know that the live video. There's a lot of it on my page, my Facebook page. You can okay. go there and see it, and on Lulu's page. And then there's a um, Facebook page called Nashville Today that they recorded a ton of it. Sure. So you can find all of it. There. That's cool. Yeah. So I guess that kind of tops the show. I mean, yeah. for now. It's no, different. No, for now. No. It's completely different. different. For now, it does. It's, it's completely different. <laughs> it really is. All right, so what are you going to sing for us again? We're going to do Halfway to Heaven. Halfway to Heaven. Yeah. A.K.A. Restraining, restraining Order. Yeah, A.K.A. Yeah. Restraining Order. Craig. <laughs> Here we go. <coughs> If you were a song, I'd sing along If you were a beer, I'd drink you down If you were a place, you'd be my hometown If you were on the run, I'd never give you up If you were a drug, baby, I'd be hooked Good or bad, now it don't work like that Stay right here, baby, when I lose Baby, don't matter what we go through I want all of you You know it's true We're halfway to heaven Tell me what you think, baby Give me a sign I'm ready to roll Put it all on the line We're so damn close Baby, just let go We're halfway to heaven If I was the sun, would you be my moon? Chase me across the sky, follow every move until the stars come out. Yeah, I'll shine for you. I'm so far gone, I can't see myself without you or with anyone else. Oh, baby, what are we waiting for? Stay right here. 
go through, I want all of you. You know it's true. We're halfway to heaven. Tell me what you think, baby, give me a sign. I'm ready to roll, put it all on the line. We're so damn close, baby, just let go. We're halfway. Never been so ready, never been so sure That I found the one I've been looking for It's been a long, long road But baby, I know If you were a song, I'd sing along And if I was the sun, would you be my moon? And I'll shine for you I'm ready to roll, put it all on the line We're so damn close, baby just let go We're halfway to heaven, yeah Great stuff. Great stuff. I think I could just listen to you all day. Mm. So you just want to hang out with us all day, and yeah, I'll just, I'll just yeah, we'll just let you keep playing just the Absolutely. whole time. Absolutely. Yeah. You should play that one that uh, you play for your wife all the time. Yeah, I should. <laughs> want to rip for it? Yeah. yeah. It's like Craig's up to something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, my, that's one of my favorite parts of your show. Yeah. I, I can start it out real quick. Yeah, just do a real quick <coughs> chorus. I wrote a song, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um... For my wife, and she's gonna stab me when she hears this. <laughs> I love you, and I'm sorry. Just make sure your work buddies are around. She knows now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, no. So I, I do a part in my show that I tell people. You know, I wrote I wrote the song specifically for my wife. You're gonna miss the kid a lot, aren't you? I really am. <laughs> and it goes like this. It goes. You say you were wrong to ever leave me alone. Now you're sorry, you're lonesome and scared. And you say you'd be happy if you could just come back home. Here's a quarter, call someone who cares. I did not write that. I know. <laughs> Thanks, it was good though. Yeah. It was good. You did great. Thank you. <laughs> so there's lots of exciting things happening with you. Lots of stuff to look forward to. Yeah. And you're gonna keep me posted. And you're gonna get me stuff like early, right? Like, oh yeah. yeah. Like when you like produce stuff with Craig, Absolutely. and then as soon as we get it done. you'll send it to me before anybody else gets it. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the circle. We, we, circle of trust earlier. Yes. We can chest bump if you want before you leave. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll okay, prop myself up somewhere and let him take my <laughs> jump. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll make it happen. Uh, so DerekAndrew.com or DerekAndrewMusic.com? DerekAndrewMusic. DerekAndrewMusic.com. They can go there and get links to everything, everything find your stuff, there. stalk you. Do you have merchandise, too? I've sold out of everything. Sold out. No T-shirts or koozies? I'm, Dude, you got to have koozies. If you're yeah, going to be in country man. music, you got to have a koozie. T-shirts, um, I've got I've got my company, Richards & Southern. Here's a okay. shout-out. You guys are awesome. Whoop, whoop. Um, they they are working on all my stuff again. I've got Lisa doing some a lot of orders. So. so koozies on the way. Koozies on the way. Coloring books, everything. We're gonna have some color by numbers. Some Derek Andrew coloring <laughs> books. Right. 
All right. Is it my turn to take us out, or is it your turn? Uh, I think I took us out last time, okay. so it's I'll all it you. Time. It's all I'll you do it saw. this time. Derek, thank you so much uh, for stopping. I wish time. you were going to be around the whole weekend. Yeah, no, I'm going to miss you. Well, thank you. Chris. I'm going to miss you. My door's always open. Yeah. You can Getting come over through. and cook for me anytime right. yeah, if you weird. want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to see you again. I'm going to see you again, Craig Wynn, tomorrow. 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 And, or Saturday. Both. Both. Both days. Or no, just, just Saturday, right? I don't know what you do tomorrow. You can just come by if you want. You can just come by anyway and hang out. We can chill. We can chill. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Chilling. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody for listening. I'm going to tell you this, and I, and I mention this in, in just about every show uh, because I'm serious. Uh, we don't take you for granted. I promise we never, ever, ever will because I know there's a million other things you could be doing, but you chose to listen to us. It makes me feel pretty darn good. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. Things might be looking grim I guess it's time